Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I wanted to make a video about Meshtastic and Meshcore channels. So um, I know it's a very basic uh, 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 um, thing and I only learned about channels, you know, learned some stuff while I was doing the store and forward video. So I, I thought I'd, you know, show what I know about channels so far. And again, I'm learning as much as everybody. So um, if, if anything's wrong, just, just let me know but, or, or give some suggestions and uh, I'll make a video about that. But um, let's start with uh, Meshtastic over here, um, channels. So um, I have on my left here a Heltec V4 and um, I've got um, Meshtastic bound to that. And then on the right here, I've got a a car alarm mesh tastic and I have a video that that shows how to create this little alarm. It's just a motion sensor that's on a uh, Heltec node that um, you know if, if something moves, it sends out a message. So I have that and a little thing that I can hook it on in the car. But uh, um, in any case, um, so channels goes. Um, you have a default channel called um, long fast. So um, if I go into my settings over here and I go to channels, um, there's always the, the first channel, um, which is um, called long fast. That is what's known as a public channel. So, um, and it's also because it's channel zero, it's your default channel. So um, inside there, you see it's got a little orange lock over there. And inside there, it's called long fast and it uses this key called AQ equals equals. Okay, um, you can enable position on there and set, you know, you have a location, how many feet or precise or, or whatever. But, you know, this video isn't really about that. There's, there is the default channel called long fast and the default key AQ equals equals. It's a very short key. And, um, and that's why that little lock over there is orange. It says, means the channel is not securely encrypted. And it uses a very uh, um, small key. So that um, is why the orange is there. Long fast, everybody has this key. It's on every device and it's an eight bit key. It's very small. So the traffic gets encrypted over this channel but it gets encrypted with this key that everybody knows. Okay. Then you can create other channels. So I have a channel here that I use for my internal stuff and that's called channel Vivsoft. And um, there you see the key for it and it's a much longer key. You can see, you can regenerate the key over here and, and I'll do that after this video so I have a private key again. But that key Everything inside this channel called Vivsoft gets encrypted with that long key. So unless you have that key, you cannot see the messages in that channel. But because it's on this device and it's sending over 906.875 slot 20, that means all devices will receive this message and it will get forwarded by all the devices, all the mesh testing devices, but only people that have a channel called Vivsoft and has that encryption key can read the message. Otherwise, it'd just be an encrypted message that gets forwarded. So if you have this. Now, the important part, which I only learned a while ago, is the slot here. This could, Vivsoft could be in slot one. Could be in slot zero, meaning the default, but it could be slot two, three, four, five. It doesn't matter which slot it is. The, uh, as long as you have a channel Vivsoft and have that specific key, you can decrypt the messages. So if I look at another device, the, my channel Vivsoft may be somewhere else. So um, I'm going to actually look at this device, which is 41 b uh, for BC1, I'm going to uh, turn that on. I'm just going to give that power. And um, uh, um, so, so that's uh, uh, the first thing is uh, these channels, 
the channel zero matters because that is the default channel that uh, uh, everything will use. So if you have like a motion sensor or you have a uh, um, uh, um, uh, any uh, you know store and forward, it will always use channel zero. And in this case, channel zero is long fast, a public channel. Channel one is this side. So if I go look at my motion sensor, obviously, whenever I have motion, I don't want this motion sensor to send it out publicly. So if I go look at that for BC1, so if I go to that device, this one, the, and I call it car alarm. So if I go look at its channels, and this, you can see its channel zero is Vivsoft, meaning it does not have a long fast channel. Its default channel is Vivsoft, and that means it will send out messages like motion messages. And I, I think it should do it now. Um, it takes a few seconds for it to start sending. Um, uh, um, and so when I do motion over here, it should send a message. But it's going to send it. This device is going to send it. And um, it's going to send it to channel um, zero, which is Vivsoft. So if I go back to my other device, this uh, Heltec uh, V4, which is channel 9040, uh, uh, which is device 9040, if I go look at that one, I will see that a new message has arrived, but it hasn't arrived on Longfast. It's arrived on channel Vivsoft. And it says motion detected. And there it says motion detected again. So this device, its channel zero is Vivsoft, and it sends out the message, and it sends it, and uh, on this device, um, like I showed you earlier, channel one is Vivsoft, but it still works. Meaning, even though it's channel zero on this device, and channel one on this device, it still works. So it doesn't have to be channel one to channel one. Channel zero, as long as this, uh, this device has that channel name and that key, it can decrypt the messages. So that's very important to, to know. So if we go look at these messages, you know, if I put motion over here, if I move my hand over there, there you can see motion detected. So, and because this is on the public uh, uh, um, frequency, this message, motion detected will be carried across all the nodes uh, um, with your hop count until it reaches my devices that have channel Vivsoft and a, um, a, a key and um, and everybody will see a message come by but they can't they can't decrypt it because they don't know what's inside because my message is encrypted with that specific key that I showed you so if I were to, um, you know, that's sending out on this off. So just to, to show how I would do it, I'm going to go into, um, wait, let's go to uh, that device again. That's 41 BC. That's, um, and I'll just create one from scratch. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go into channels. And currently it's set up to send those messages to this off, but I'll let's start clean. I'm going to create a new one. And I'm going to uh, um, call the, uh, um, the channel, let's call it a, 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 a alarm. Uh, oops, alarm. Yeah, alarm. And let's call the key. I'm just going to use a, a simple key, a, a um, equals equals. So that's a valid 8-bit uh, uh, key. But um, if I save that, You'll see it's got a little orange mark there saying that's not really a secure key. The right way to do it is to generate a proper key. But for me to remember it, to get it on the other device would, you know. So I'm just going to create alarm as my channel zero and AA equals equals. And I'm going to send that to the device. Now I'm going to go um, to this um, Haltech V4 and that's 9040. And I'm going to uh, go to that one. And I'm going to go to the channels. 
go to the channels there and now I have two channels but I'm going to add this new channel which I just created on that device and I'm going to call it alarm and the key that I created was AA equals equals I'm going to save it I'm going to send that to the device so now if I go look and chat I have long fast I have with soft and I have alarm and if I move here now because I've made channel zero on this device alarm we can see that now it's a message motion detected on channel two alarm on this one alarm is channel zero on this one alarm is channel two but because it's the same uh, 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 channel name and the same key it puts it into channel alarm. Hopefully that makes sense how channels work. Um, obviously you, you, you know, to be secure, you wouldn't create a small key with, you know, eight bit key like that. And you can see it marks all those with low grade encryption as orange. This one, Vivsoft uses a much longer encryption key and you can see that's why it's green. And there you can see I'm keep motioning over here. So I get the, I get the messages. Okay, so that's sort of how uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, channels work in uh, Mestastic. Of course, the long fast being the default one that everybody uses, that is sort of a public channel. If you say something over long fast, everybody in the world get, uh, gets that message. And because everybody knows the key and everybody uses the word long fast, they can see the message. Okay, so... Um, in, in theory, of course, you could put long fast in another spot and with the same key in it. In theory, it should work. I haven't tried that, but so that's um, uh, uh, um, uh, um, channels in Meshtastic. Now, in Meshcore, it has virtually the same thing. Um, let me get my Meshcore device on here and unplug my motion, else I'm going to keep getting motion. And um, I'm going to swap to my little mesh core device. This is a little mobile mesh core device that I have. Um, uh, um, and uh, this has been flashed as an ESP32, uh, a Haltech V3 uh, that's been flashed with mesh core. So uh, you can see this is the mesh core application. So I'm just going to connect to that. And there it is. It's connected to this. So channels in... Uh, um, Mesh core works. You have contacts, same as uh, uh, a Meshtastic, but then there's a button here called channels. So if you go into channels, there's always the default public one. And this is sort of the, the public one where everybody talks. And there's not many people on Mesh, mesh core in this uh, area yet, but you can see when I send a message, it can, I can see heard by one repeater. So a repeater, and it's my repeater outside, heard this message, and there'll be more counts if other people see it. But this is the public channel. So if I say something on this channel, everybody receives it. Then you can see I've created a private channel. So in a private channel, it's as simple as I go there and I say, add a channel, and now I can create a channel with a private key, a, pri a, a, a private channel with a private key or I can join a channel or I can join a public channel or I can you know scan a QR code but if I were to create a private key a private channel I'll just call it test channel test channel I'll create that and it's going to create a key here this is the key for that channel again same as in Mestastic it will encrypt the message with that and I save that and there was also a, a you know, a, 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 a barcode that, which I could give to somebody and scan to join this. But there is now a test channel and it has a specific encryption key which uh, encrypts all the messages in there. So without that key, um, uh, you know, you can read the message in. You could not read the messages in there. But in the public, everybody has the key for the public. Um, so... Everybody can read the message in there. And that's how messages works here. 
um, you know, contacts. And, uh, you know, if you talk to somebody, you can, of course, direct message somebody. Same as in uh, uh, um, uh, Mestastic. I'm not going to go in there yet. But this is really just uh, uh, key uh, uh, channels that you can set up in both Mestastic and in uh, Meshcore. And, um, you know, if, if we look at um, these two, uh, it, it's almost the same thing. There's the pub public channel. There's the private channels that I created. Um, that's in Meshcore and Meshtastic. There's the public channel and there's the two private channels I created. So uh, hopefully that makes sense. Um, let me know if, if, I, uh, if there's anything I can add to that. But uh, thank you for watching.